Like many YouTubers, I keep a list of ideas ready in case I need them. After all, I upload rather frequently, so it's important for me to record sparks I get from the blue so I don't lose them. Unfortunately, not all the ideas make the cut. Some of them are just too complicated, some of them just don't work out, and most of the time I just never get around to making them. This video showcases five of these ideas that were too short to make into a full-length video. They would be long enough to fill a short, but I don't really want to do that right now, so I've mushed these five together kinda like a quarter as Terra Steel. Hence, here are five Twitter questions nobody asked, because I asked them. 1. Is it possible to phase through blocks if you go fast enough? As you may know, Terraria works in ticks, which are units of time equivalent to 1 60th of a second. Most game logic only runs once per tick, so in most cases units of time shorter than one tick just don't exist in Terraria. This raises the question, is it possible to phase through blocks if you move fast enough? Think of it. If you move more than one block in a single tick, you could theoretically skip the collision check and move straight through. Since time is discrete, there is no moment when you're colliding with the block after all, and you'd basically be moving from air to air. Unfortunately, this is not quite how Terraria works. You can't just skip collision by moving quickly. Whatever collision logic Terraria uses doesn't care about ticks like this. You can go 20,000 miles per hour and you'll still be stopped dead by a single block. You cannot phase through blocks like this in Terraria. 2. How many times can the Shadow Beam Staff bounce? Perhaps the bounciest projectile in Terraria is the Shadow Beam Staff, which seemingly bounces as many times as it likes within its range, but how many times can it bounce exactly? Luckily, this question is pretty straightforward to answer. If you look within the game's code, you can see the Shadow Beam Staff has a lifespan of 300 updates. Since it updates 101 times per tick, we perceive this as a lifespan of just under 3 ticks. This time span itself doesn't matter to us, but the lifespan in updates does. Within those 300 updates, it makes sense that the Shadow Beam Staff can only bounce 300 times. Pretty straightforward. However, we're not done just yet. We know it can bounce up to 300 times, but is there a contraption that exists that can make it bounce 300 times? That contraption would have to have a gap as thin as possible to minimize the distance between the bounces, as to achieve 300 bounces, we have to bounce every single time it updated its position, i.e. constantly. So, is that possible? I actually originally wrote an 8 minute script about this topic that was painfully boring, but to make a long story short, you need to shoot the staff while clipped into a block into a half slab at a very specific angle like this to guarantee 300 bounces. Due to funky collision shit, it works. Here's how it looks in simulated slow motion with a bounce counter mod. Neat, huh? 3. How many enemies can Luminite Bullets pierce? We like to treat Luminite Bullets as bullets that effectively infinitely pierce, but they actually do not. This is because they lose 4% of their projectile damage every time they pierce an enemy, rounded down to the nearest integer. Of course, this means after a certain amount of enemies, the damage will round down to zero, and the projectile will cease to do damage. This makes the amount of enemies Luminite Bullets can pierce a function of the damage each bullet does, affected by which weapon you shoot it from and what damage buffs you have on you. For example, if you use a sniper rifle and max damage buffs, you can get these bullets to pierce 101 NPCs, which is actually more than the limit of target dummies that can be placed. On the other hand, using a mini shark would only let you pierce 20 or so enemies. Note that this pierce does not depend on critical strike or damage randomization, since this concerns only the intrinsic damage value of the projectile. Interestingly, this infinite pierce but not really behavior is also exhibited by a few other items, like the Shadow Beam Staff, Magical Harp, and Jester's Arrow. The Shadow Beam Staff and Jester's Arrows lose 10% of their damage per enemy pierced, while the Harp loses 5%. 4. What's the farthest range you can mine at in Terraria? We love to talk about mining speed here on TerraTube, hell, I would know, but not enough love is given to mining range, probably because far fewer things affect or are affected by it. Still, I'm gonna pull a 2022 Terra Steel and maximize it. There are two candidates for the maximum possible mining range, the Laser Drill and the Drill Containment Unit. The Drill Containment Unit has a mining range of 15 tiles, which is constant and unmodifiable, which seems pretty long. However, the Laser Drill actually has a mining range of 16 tiles. Note that it's plus 11, not 11, and this can be improved to a whopping 20 blocks with a tool belt and extendo grip, making it the clear winner. So, 20 blocks it is, right? Well, the Laser Drill has one more trick up its sleeve. If you've ever used Laser Drill or any other tool, you'll know that its tool reach is square. This means the laser drill pointed diagonally actually mines at a distance of 20 root 2 blocks, or 28.3 blocks, almost double that of the puny drill containment unit, which mines in a circle. How sad for the drill containment unit. 
I guess it is better for everything else, though. And lastly, 5. What's the maximum mining speed in pre-hard mode? I believe this has been a top comment on the mining speed video for... Geez, almost a year now. Damn, I'm old. Anyway, the answer to this one is simple, 30 strikes per second. Using the Bone Pickaxe, the fastest pickaxe in pre-hard mode, and Reforging Delight, we get a mining speed of 9, or 6.67 strikes per second. If we then stack it with the maximum mining speed buff, which is 70% and probably consists of these buffs, we can then get this down to a mining speed of 2.7, which conveniently rounds down to 2. A mining speed of 2 means 2 ticks per strike, or 30 strikes per second. This means it's only one tier down from the fastest possible mining speed of 1, which is 60 strikes per second, and the same speed as a base through my Digging Claw. It is half the max speed, but it's very impressive considering that this is pre-hard mode we're talking about. So those are the 5 quarter highlights I decided to include in this video. There's probably better here over 5 shorts or something, so I hope you enjoyed them. Consider subscribing if you love the video as it supports the channel, as only about a quarter of you are. Similar videos should be on the left or right. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye. See you next week.